Hello, welcome back. Following the success of last night's video where we got £500 on Golf Bidder and made a set of golf clubs up, I'm going to go one better tonight. I've got £100 to spend. Well, I ain't got £100 to spend because no one's got any money at the minute because we're all stuck indoors. And instead of going on Golf Bidder, I'm going to go on Facebook Marketplace because I want to show you some of the deals that are there to be had. Like I said, last night, the reception on last night's video was mint. I will put up a screenshot of the winning or best set of clubs I had sent to me on Twitter. So I asked people to send in their 500 pound sets on golf bidder to me last night and this is the one that won. I'm sure you'll agree, tremendous set of golf clubs. So, like I said, we're on Facebook Marketplace tonight, we're bargain hunting, we've got 100 quid, even though we haven't got 100 quid, and I'm going to try and piece a set together. This is going to be hard, I appreciate that, but I appreciate you guys watching out of pure curiosity. And I also hope that my iPad lasts, because it's only got 25% charge. Right, uh, straight away, it is a bit of a minefield. So there are sets, like full sets, on Facebook Marketplace that are 100 quid. And if you don't know what you're looking for, I guess it can be quite perilous, because there's some absolute crud out there. Um, so, it's my kind of job to navigate through this minefield and find some half-decent stuff. Straight away, I found a beauty. A Callaway loft wedge. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> you don't have to be as specific with your searches when it comes to Facebook um, Marketplace because some, some people aren't as clued up as what we are. So, we have a Sam Wedge, 54 degrees, Callaway, it's in tremendous nick, 10 quid. Right, I'm going to put in golf irons and we could probably do we only spend about 50 quid on a set of irons. There's a set of tailor here that's 60 quid. Taylor made 320s and not great value then though. The true Yorkshireman in me is coming out in this challenge. I've been ultra tight, but you need to when you've only got 100 quid to spend on a set of golf clubs. Right, I'm going to go in the filters now because this is a little bit too tricky. So in the filters, I'm going to change the price to maximum 50 quid for a set of irons. Stay clear of your Dunlops and your Slazengers, they're no good to anyone. Mizuno MX-17, what are these? Have we got more pictures? Yeah, I'll tell you something, they look absolutely brill condition of that face that the guys put on there. Five to sandwich. Do you know what? That looks absolutely mint. We're having them. Mizuno MX-17s, that's going to be our iron set and they are only 50 quid. Um, depending on the loft of that sandwich, we could potentially bend our Callaway to 56, make it slightly weaker, so we've got more like uh, in between a sandwich and a lob wedge type club, so bottom end of the set, I think we're well catered for there. We've got five iron to sandwich here and we've got 40 quid left so let's see if we can find a driver driver five wood will probably probably be all right then mizuno irons i'm well impressed with them they look proper good so again if we can spend 60 if we could spend 20 25 quid on a, on a driver i know it's a lot to ask but we've got a callaway fti square driver here stiff flex they went out of fashion quick didn't they square drivers didn't quite catch on then ping g10 driver nine degree 25 quid that is an absolute bargain. I will have a little bit more of a search just to see what else we've got, but I'm very tempted by that. Callaway Razor Hawk for 25 quid. They were like 400 quid when they were brand new then. I'm in between the Ping G10 and that Callaway Razor Hawk. Um, I'll tell you what, seeing as though I've got Callaway, a Callaway uh, 56 degree, I'm gonna go for that Razor Hawk. It looks like it's in great nick again as well. Regular, ah, that's a shame. So, because the ping is stiff, we'll go for ping then. Um, G10, looks like it's in great nick, nine degrees. Suits me, actually. Stiff shaft, I do believe. Yeah, ping TFC T29, stiff shaft. Beautiful, ping G10 driver. So, so far, right, as you can see, I've got a driver, a set of irons, and a sandwich, and it's only cost me 85 quid. So I've got 15 quid left, and if I can find something like a, a two hybrid, or a five wood, just to gap, bridge that gap a little bit better than anything else really would. We're absolutely flying here. And if you're just starting golf, if you're just getting into the game, and you're thinking that two, 300 quid, 500 quid, perhaps too much for a set, there's a lot of bargains to be had here. That's why I've kind of done this video. So a lot of people come to me with the idea that golf is an expensive game as soon as you're getting into it. That's wrong, it's only as expensive as you want to make it. So my advice to a lot of guys that are a bit strapped for cash but want to take up a new hobby, spend 100, 150 quid on a set of clubs and if you have got a spare 50, 60 quid after that, spend it on lessons because one thing that I find is that the more successful you are in the early stages, the more you want to play and there's no better way to get better quick than having a lesson. So definitely, if you've got a budget of say three, 400 quid, look to spending 200 on clubs, 200 on lessons, that's the way that I'd do it if I were to start again. 
and the whole thesis of this video is showing you that you don't have to spend four or five hundred quid on a set of clubs to get you started. Obviously, once you've got your set from Facebook Marketplace or whatever, take it to your local PJ Pro, check the light angles, check stuff like that. You can still get these custom fitted to your specifications and your needs, but yeah, it's not as expensive as what people think. With this kind of challenge as well, feel free to branch out because I say to everyone that I teach, if you're looking at some new stuff, send, if it's like on eBay and it's second hand or it's Golf Bidder or it's Facebook Marketplace, send me a picture because then I can kind of guide you in the direction of it being good or naff, because there's a lot of naff on here, but as you've seen in this video so far, there's also a lot of proper good stuff. Right, so last up we've got 15 quid to spend. No bag unfortunately, but you know, we've only got 100 quid, come on, I'm not a miracle worker. Yeah, yeah, so 15 quid left and we need like a five wood, so. See, again, this is a bit misleading because we've gone on this one, this is an Adams five wood. It says in the description it's actually a five hybrid, so a five wood would only have about 18, 19 degrees. This has probably got about 25 degrees on it, so watch out. Can we do it for, oh, I'll tell you something, there's one here. That is an absolute steal. You, you may have noticed it says demo on the grip right, but we've got a Titleist 909 F2 free wood here. This would probably be 200 quid when it first came out. It's 20 quid. So I'm, I'm actually gonna put that in my bag. So, oh shoot, we need a putter. So I am gonna put that one in. Um, that does take us total up to 105 pounds and we still are yet to get a putter. So I am cheating a little bit here. So I do apologize for that, but Leave it with me, let me see if I can find a putter. Because I've got a feeling, I'm not going to say we're going to find a freebie, but we might. Right, I just stumbled across this listing. And we've also got this like really old ping answer. And the gent on this listing, or gent or lady, whoever it is, says that it's free and they're having a clear out. So, every now and then you do stumble across something like this where people are genuinely just getting rid of stuff. And they will give you, you for free depending if you can pick it up or not. If we look at this ping answer putter here, that's like... For now, we're winning. Now obviously some of these, um, they require you to message the people that have listed them just to ensure that they are free and, and you can just pick them up because some people are a bit sneaky and they put that these things are free, but then they actually want some money when it comes to you wanting the club, which is a bit dodgy, so watch out for that. But if everything's good according to form, we've just got a Ping G10 driver, a Titleist 909 F2 5 wood, a set of Mizuno MX-17 irons, a Callaway 54 degree sand wedge and a ping answer putter for £105. So, can you get an half decent set off of Facebook Marketplace for about 100 quid? Yeah, you can. Again, similar to last night, I'm going to challenge you guys now. So have a trawl around, see what you can find and see if you can make an half decent because that's the proviso with the challenge. It has to be half decent and by half decent I kind of mean named brands. So not like Slazinger Dunlop. Uh, hippo, none of that kind of stuff. Stay uh, clear of it if you can. But see if you can make up an half decent set for around about 100 quid. I've got all that stuff there for 105 quid. If you're getting into golf and that's your first set, you're absolutely winning right there. Same as last night, send them to me on Twitter. It's at JackLee11. And in tomorrow's video, I'll probably put my favourite Facebook Marketplace set up at the start of that video. So something for you to look forward to. That's pretty much it from me tonight. I hope you've enjoyed it. Again, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Stay indoors, stay safe, stay out of trouble. I'll see you tomorrow. Laters.